I think most people, once you mention infectious disease, they find it easy to understand what you do. Yeah. Okay, it's infectious disease, like infection, and then it says infection, oh, like Ebola, like yes, <laughs> like, like Ebola, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the funny story is that my mother always forgets what I do. I remember one time she followed me, she asked me, oh yeah, somebody asked me what you do, and I forgot, what is that name again? I said, no, it's microbiology, mom. <laughs> Okay, yeah, microbiology. She had to repeat it several times for her to remember it. When you see the patient, you've seen the bug, you know what it's sensitive to, and then now you're going to give advice. It's awesome. It's not just only just lab work. We still get to do ward runs. When, when we're on call, you get to go to the ICU ward runs. So you, you get to see the patients we got a very unusual request from a clinician. It was, a, it was asking for a vaginal parasite, which I thought that was such an unusual request. Yeah. And then we looked underneath the microscope and we identified a, a pin one. Oh, so yes. it migrated. Yes, it migrated. It yeah. has been found as well that it, it can be one of the common causes of vaginitis in young girls. Oh, okay. That so, was such an unusual. Yeah, that, that is. It's either they'll be discussing antibiotic treatment, they'll be advising on antibiotic treatment, they'll be advising on specimen collection, and oh, if there's any other clinical queries that like maybe they are worried about infection control. Yeah. It is extremely busy. You don't get to do anything. Sometimes you're lucky if you get to go and have lunch. And you're on call the whole week. Uh, you're here from half past seven till six o'clock. And you work the weekend as well. So do work hard, yes. So one of my favorite things to do is reading culture plates. The nice thing about this one, it shows you the color change as well. With the, this is called a lactose fermenter, and this is how the E. coli colony normally appears. And from, from this, the next thing will be to do a biochemical reaction for the full identification of the organism. Okay, my project, I'm looking at uh, uh, using broad range PCR. Um, for detection and identification of fungal pathogens. So we're trying to find a method that works to extract fungal DNA because it's very much different to bacterial mm -hmm. DNA. Um, my plan is to go back to, to North but I would like to work in a small lab, like the maybe a regional lab like Nelspread. I feel like the small hospitals, so they are much more neglected. And like any job, it, it does have its moments. Um, but you know, there's sometimes when you feel like, oh, why am I here? Why here? Yeah, I want to get out of here. I don't want to be doing this anymore. But something will happen. Or you isolate an interesting organism and you're like, wow, what is this? And you'll be running around trying to figure out, you'll be reading, you'll be doing a literature review to, to come up with an answer. And those are some of the things that makes this job exciting. Because anything, I mean, your day is not routine. Every day you can come up with a different thing and you can isolate a different organism. You can discover a new exciting bug. <laughs>